Hello, hockey fans out there. It's another episode of Hockey Legacy Manager 24. And um, in this episode, now the first episode I just uh, introduced the game to everybody, showed it off a little bit. But I have started a uh, Minnesota North Stars season for the 1981 season, or 8081, or whatever. Um, and we are currently a little bit past, I think it's 8081. We're just past, or just to right, we're right around the All Star break. And you can see the standings up on the screen. We are 21, 21, and 5 currently. And, um,. We are uh, in third place, but we're a uh, very, very distant third place. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, the Sabres are, you know, 40 games ahead of us or 30-something, 8, 37 games ahead of us, something like that. And Boston is, you know, 40 games ahead of us, something like, you know, it's crazy. I, I'm not good at math, but I know I'm way, way behind those two teams. And we are only three points in front of Quebec. So uh, we have to, uh, we got to stay on our, uh, we got to stay on our P's and Q's here. So um, I don't know, I don't know if we'll make the playoff. Maybe we make the playoffs if we finish uh, third, uh, even if it's with a 500 record. But anyway... We will go to the, we'll, we'll do some quick simming of some games. Not quick enough like where it just gives you an instant result. We'll do where you can like watch the games unfolding. It's kind of cool. Um, so we go to office and you can see our next game is against Detroit. And we will do the play-by-play -play for that and we will start it. And um, you can watch it unfold here. Uh, and it's already one nothing. We're already ahead one nothing. That didn't take very long. Um, we're out shooting them. And uh, remember, we're at 500, so 21, 21, and 5. And you can see there's four minutes left in the first. So it goes pretty quickly. Um, we've started the second. Uh, we're still only ahead one nothing though. So that's kind of concerning. Um, and then uh, Detroit was on a power play, but they didn't score, apparently. Um and they're almost even with us in shots. This is a very even game. It's kind of uh, it got me kind of on edge here. Um, so we'll have to see. But we're in the third. Now we're already on to the third and winning still only one nothing. Uh, out shooting them 20, 30 to 22. Um, nine minutes left. It's Oh, they tied the game. They tied us up. So it's 1-1. One, one, Two, one minute left. Overtime one here. And we are tied one apiece. 35 shots apiece. And that is it. We win the game 2-1 to one in the first overtime. So we beat Detroit. And we will move along um, in here. Sim to the next game. So we are 22-21-5. And, and we're going to do the play-by-play. -play. Now, of course, this is Boston. So Boston is a lot better. And we are going to, um, I think we'll be hard-pressed to win this one. Um, but we are out-shooting them early. Or no, they're out-shooting us and outscoring us now. It's one nothing. It's 2 nothing after only nine shots. Um, so... We're down two. Uh, they have a power play, and they go up uh, by three. It's three nothing here, and we're moving along to the second. And uh, yeah, I mean, but the, the you saw where they are in the standing. They're way above us. They're four. It's four nothing. We just really can't five nothing. We can't hold the candle to Boston apparently. So we're in the third period now. Um, power play for Boston. And uh, they're, yeah, you know, I guess they're taking their foot off the pedal now. Feel sorry for us. Um, at five nothing, we have a power play and we score on it, but it's five one, and only a minute left, and that's it. The game is over, and we uh, we go to uh, twenty two twenty two and five, and now we're playing Quebec. Now this is a team that we're just ahead of, so we really need to win this game. And we're going to do the play-by-play -play again and see what happens. 
um, they've got a power play, but they didn't score on it. And we've got a goal by Vettelish. And then they've got a goal by Stone. And that is his 31st goal, so that dude can score some goals. Uh, it's one apiece here uh, in the second now. And we go up. Bowen. Bowen's one of our hot guys. He is one of our good young players. And we go up 3-1 to one as Lee scores. And um, uh, the second period is winding down here. And we go on to the third. Up 3-1, 4-1. Now we're up 4-1. So this is good. We needed this. We needed the Quebec game. And especially, you know, since we're two or three points ahead of them, uh, this will just separate us even more. 5-1, five, five minutes left. And 6-1, to one. we're really smoking them now. And that is it. That's the end of the game. And uh, we're going to sim to the next game. The next game is the Blackhawks. So we're playing the Blackhawks next, and we'll do the play-by-play. -play. Uh, the start. Now, I did go in and change the names, but I forgot to save the game. You have to always save the game, uh, like manually save it. Like it's not like out of the park. I was thinking... It, it was out of the like out of the park where you just get out and the game is automatically saved, but it isn't like that. So um, I, the team names didn't get saved or you know nothing. So I got to go back and do those. But um, somebody did provide in the comments and thank you very much on how to change the team names. Now I can also change the player names, and we're losing one nothing while I'm talking here. Um, I can change the player names too, but I'm not going to bother to do that. I'm just going to keep the player names that are in here. It's not, first of all, I'd have to go back and do the research and find uh, who was on every single team, uh, you know, and change everyone's name, and I'm not going to do that. But I will re-change the team names in here, which is, it's kind of cool that you can do that, kind of cool that you can change the, the player names. Um... And uh, so, yeah, we, we lost to Chicago. So we are, we're, it's tough. This is a tough season. These are tough teams, man. And we've got Buffalo next. Buffalo's way ahead of us. But we're 23, 23, and 5. I'm going to sim to the next game. And we're going to do the play-by-play. -play. Maybe we can eke one out here against the vastly better Buffalo Sabres. But you never know. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, we're being outshot, though, massively, and they scored. So uh, McDonald scores. He has 48 goals on the year. So another prolific goal-scoring guy for them. Um, and we can't get anything going. We're in the second now. We're moving right to the second. Uh, but it's only one nothing. So we're hanging in this game, which I like. We're kind of hanging around, hanging around, and maybe we can uh, eke out a tie or uh, whatever, a, an overtime loss and get a point. Buffalo has a power play, but they don't score on it. And we tie the game, and, but then they go back ahead. My God. <laughs> so <laughs> that's crazy. So we're losing 2-1, to one, but Buffalo is much better. This is a great game for us. Uh, you know, in real life, if these were players, it would be great for the morale. But we're not going to hang on and win. We do uh, or tie. So we lose 2-1. to one. But now we got Hartford. And we're playing Hartford. They're 16-34-1. So we've got to go to that game because I at least want us to be uh, at a 500 record um, going into, um, you know, uh, st stopping for this episode. And I don't even know that I will. But maybe we keep going. Uh, so we're ahead one nothing. Um, score by Lee, and we're being outshot, and that there it is, the tying goal by Power, his 10th goal of the year, and we're all tied up at one, knotted up at one in the second here, and, uh, and let's see if we can break through, and we do, it's two to one, we got a two to one lead, Lee scoring again, so he's one uh, goal away from a hat trick. And that is another goal. We're up 3-1. Salinen scored his 13th of the year. Um, so looks like we're going to wrap this one up with a win, which is what I was hoping. It's 4-1. to one And, uh, yeah, we only have a minute left. Yep. So 
So we did get a win there. We're 24, 24, and 5, and we're playing the Kings, who are 25, 25, and 2. So that's kind of an evenly matched game. So let's see about that. We're simming to uh, head to the next game, and then we're going to do the play by play and see what we can do. Hopefully, we can win this game, and that would be a really that would be good. Except we're getting really outshot here. But we do break through and score. Barber gets his 22nd goal of the year for us. And um, so let's see. Still got a one nothing lead as the first ends, and we go to the second. Um, we're being outshot, massively outshot, by 2-1. to one. Then the Kings have a power play, and they didn't score on it, and they have another one. We're giving them a chance. We're trying. We're trying to hand them the game, it looks like here. But, yeah, we're still being outshot uh, almost 2-1. to one. And, finally, they break through and score. Davidson get his 16th of the year to tie the game up. At, and, but we break through and Bowen, our main man, 31 goals. And we go up 3-1, to one, which is great. Valish, Valish, Valinch. I don't know how you pronounce that, but he's got 10 goals and uh, love the guy. And so there it is. We got a 3 to 1 win and we're 25 24 and 5, but we're going up against Vancouver next. Vancouver is 15 32 and 6. So, I'm up for that action. Let's see if we can play them and get a win and go get like a little bit of and then check the standings after this and but it's 1 to 1. Black scored for him. And and McLean, we had McLean score only his fourth goal, but then Saline Salinen scored and Caberly scored, so we're up three to one. Three to one here is the first is ending, and uh, we got a four on four, and then that's out, and then we're uh, now we're only up three two as Perkins scores for Vancouver, and we got a one goal lead at twelve minute in the second period, and that's winding down, winding down. Let's see if we can. We got a power play. Let's see if we can use it. And we can't, to our advantage. We still have a 3-2 lead going into the third period, though. And another power play. But that doesn't get us anything. It expires without us scoring. But we do score on Bowen, his 32nd goal of the year. And we're up 4-2 with only five minutes left. And it looks like we're going to win this one, too, and bring it home. So we will exit. And uh, at this point, we're going up against Chicago next. At this point, I'm going to take a look at the standings again. So let's let's go do that team standing. So here is the standings in the Metropolitan. We are still not uh, not unexpectedly. We're still in third place, uh, but this time we have a serious lead on Quebec. We are up nine points on Quebec and. Um, yeah, and like 12 points on Toronto. So they are really in our rearview mirror. We are, however, not really getting any closer to Buffalo or Boston. Um, you can see we have a negative 7 plus minus, but Buffalo has a plus 235 and Boston has a plus 214. So, um, yeah. But then you got Quebec with a negative 72 and Toronto with a negative 83. In the Atlantic division, Montreal is leading that division with only 61 points. It would be much better for us to be in that division. The Kings are uh, nine points behind them with only 52 points. So we even have more points than the Kings do, which is good. And Detroit and Hartford and Pittsburgh. So... Uh, and then we'll just, I'll just give you guys a look at the the uh, other side of the league, even though, you know, just to see who's who's winning over there. Um, so, yeah, this is just six, yeah, six teams there and five teams up in the top in the Pacific. So, um, in the Pacific, you've got Atlanta is, when it looks like Atlanta wrapped that up. They've wrapped up their division, it looks like. And um, then you've got, or or it's the playoffs, automatic for the playoffs. Uh, Edmonton is leading in the central with St. Louis trailing them by 30 points. Let's see if we got anybody here. No, nobody on our side has the X, so I don't know. But anyway, 
Uh, that is, that's all I got for you today. So here we are, Minnesota. We're 26, 24, and 5. Probably headed to the playoffs. I hope I can figure out how to do the playoffs once we get there. But um, the next time I'm probably going to have just some more games for some regular season games for you um, and see how we do against various teams that we play the next time. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.